Hey, howdy. How you doing? What's up, Chuck Chops? I have no chops at anything. Mechanically, music, just on my face. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't know how to do this. I'm going to try, though. Let's see how it works. With my $50 knockoff GoPro, maybe we'll start with a shop tour, show you some projects. I apologize for the sound, but it's raining. And my Wagler pole building is not insulated and makes a lot of noise in the rain. Here's my workbench and my organizations all the cool guys have to do lists so I thought I would make one more on that project later got my must-have Harbor Freight toolkit other mechanics tools I've collected over the years here's what I got working with Project number one, my 1975 DT250. I got it pretty much like it is. I've been collecting some parts. Guy I got it from said in 20 minutes they had it going the last time they tried. But, took the side cover off to do some work on it and snap, snapped off some of the clutch basket. She's pretty crusty. Old two-stroke enduro bike. I gotta see if it'll fire off. If it does that, I gotta get it moving and stopping. And then, I gotta decide if I'm gonna blow it all apart, make everything pretty and nice as I can, or This is my little mini chopper I built last winter. I'm probably using the word built a little loosely. I got an APC chopper frame and uh, changed the tank from a bicycle to moped kit. Did the mandatory Predator swap. It's only, it's only a 79cc but I didn't need it to be fast. I just had to prove I could build something. Anyhow, it very legally, no, it didn't. We went down the road, and it held 21 miles per hour with my big self on it. So, yeah, not bad. Next up is this sweet 1980 CB900. I got the tank over there on the shelf. It just got a little ding on it, not original paint. But this bike is in pretty good shape. The chrome looks good. Tires look good, but they are shot. They are they will be changed before it hits the street. Flat four, four carbs. I'll probably be learning how to rebuild those and uh, sinking them. I don't know if I'm up to it, but what's the worst that could happen? I screw it up. I don't have a whole lot of dineros in this bike, so it's a project bike. And I kind of like it. Bought some secondhand parts for it, and uh, I'm kind of tall. I don't know how this is going to come out. I'm about 6'4 or 2'4. These pegs and that engine and my size 15 feet are going to be a little tight. But if I ditch the stock seat, I can sit here, stretch my legs, 
and it'll all be cool. Broom, broom. I can reach the bars from the back seat. So, uh, maybe I'll put a solo seat on it or something. Gotta get it to run first, but once again, it's a project, but I have to tie it. So that makes it worth something, even though it's not ready yet. Right now, this is my bottom girl, Plastic Pan, 1992 GL1500. I got about 62,000 miles on it. I bought it in March. Thrashed a mad weekend trying to make it to the Forgotten Angels camp out. I didn't make it. It was not good. But it wasn't the bike's fault. It was my fault because I didn't change the front tire like I should have immediately. So, I've got lots of luggage. Some room. Radio works. Crews don't right now. Uh, I gotta get a brake light working. But I thrashed on it pretty hard back in March. Got a new tire, both tires on. Timing belt changed, that's a must on these gold wings. If you don't know, you better have changed it. Uh, oil change, rear diff fluid change, cleaned it up, greased, oiled, whatever I needed to do, coolant flush, bled out the brakes, front and back. I really like this bike, but uh, all these plastic pieces got to come off to do anything, and it is a pain. Not hard, it's just a pain. So that's what we got. Next up on the DT250, I gotta get the clutch basket changed. I don't know how to do it. I kind of started thinking about making videos to uh, follow what I'm doing because I don't always remember. And sometimes I don't remember what I took a picture of with my iPhone. So, it might be boring. Somebody in the internet might like it. If you do, cool. If you don't, that's okay too. I understand. I've seen plenty of videos that it's just, eh, whatever. So I gotta get my service manual out, read up on it, and decide how to tackle it. <laughs> 